everybody, Volsker here, and I'm coming to you with a very special, brand new unboxing and impressions video. I'm going to be talking about this lovely 1-6 scale collectible figures case by Legend Studio. I just received this in from Sideshow Collectibles. I uh, was looking for something for my Arkham Batman and Joker, so I picked up a couple of these. Um, overall, decent product. Got some qualms. So why don't we get to that unboxing, and let's talk about it. Alrighty, so we are sitting here with this lovely, lovely little shopping bag, which is kind of unique. Um, but boxed in case, it is once again by Legend Studio Master Lighthouse, designed uh, for 1-6 scale figures. So uh, why don't we uh, get to uh, opening some bad boy so we can talk about what's going on. So let me pull this little lovely little, little tote. You know. Set that over there. So, first thing to notice, I mean, overall, packaged pretty well. It's a nice little sturdy cardboard. Um, it's actually a slip case, so it's kind of cool. Kind of matches a lot of, uh, like, actual figure cases. So, let's slip that out. So, we'll go ahead and put that over there. And then, we have... So, um, first things first, we have the layout and instruction sheet. Um, as you might be able to tell, might not, it is in half, uh, looks like half Chinese and then half English. The English is basically just telling you the power and what is needed to do it. Then we have, this is an LED advanced version, so the plug cannot be compatible with old versions. Just letting you know it's an updated version of what has been out on the market. And then we have the actual sheets. And then we have the bases. So let's go ahead and let's get to those. Got a little cardboard, a little extra package here. What's uh, what's going on? So we have first the LED lights that you actually uh, plug into the uh, bases, which is pretty cool. And then last but not least, the power. So this can be powered two different ways. Um, it can be powered by USB, voila, or it can be powered by AAA batteries. Now, per the spec sheet, the AAA batteries, which is probably not the preferred, it takes three AAA batteries per base. Now, go figure that one out. That's a shit ton of triple A's. So here's that. So uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look here. So with the base, which you... Um, so it's actually, it's pretty simple. You have four holes, you have the on off switch, the port for the USB cable, and then if you want to go batteries, voila, right here in those little slots. Okay. 
Oh, that was a loud pop. Holy shit. So, same thing. Now, as you might tell, hey, wait, they are literally the same. Four holes for LEDs, the on and off switch, the batteries, and the USB port. I'm going to let that soak in for a minute. So how, what if you want to light up both top and bottom? You have to theoretically have two individual USB cables running to something to power it, but it does not come with the bricks. So you want to keep that in mind. It has to go to some console, computer, or something power off the light the uh, bases. Or you have to put three AAAs in each one. And then we have, last but not least, in short, we have the glass. So, with the glass, there are three individual sizes, four individual plates. So let's go ahead and let's get this saran wrap off. So, overall, the packaging was actually pretty nice. Bubble wrap, the box is nice and sturdy. Um, the box that they came in was full of uh, like cardboard paper stuffing, so the, they were not moving at all, so that's nice. Um, these are like basically saran wrapped to the point where it's like shrink wrapped together, so none of the parts were moving anywhere, so that's overall pretty darn good. And then, let's go ahead and get that. Okay, so... Hopefully it's not an issue. I'm going to have to... Okay, that looks like... Here is the two sides. Uh, they do have plastic to help protect, which is good. It was kind of falling off on this one, so that's hopefully it's not damaged. But it is on both sides, so you should be good. And then here is the front. Now, note I said there was three different size is, but four sides. The reason being is because here is the mirrored back. Whoa! Notice something interesting there. There is about what a good inch difference. And just for comparison, the same size as the mirror back. So, the sides and back are all the same height. The front is not. Let's see if that might be an issue down the road. So, why don't we go ahead and let's put this thing together. For example, top, top. So it's almost more than a finger difference. How this goes on is no different than the bottom one, which is why I mentioned earlier. In reality, you can actually use either one as a top and bottom. So that's starting to go down, but if you notice, let's go here. So, you need to leave at least a little lip to get in it. So, overall, it doesn't come busting open. So, let's make sure both are connected. Alright, so now it's actually not. If you push it all the way down, it actually will not go inside and there literally will be that opening which to me is not good will not we uh, put some batteries up in this piece and see uh, how it works
So we got the batteries in. Switches are on. They're not coming on. What's going on? Well, the interesting thing is once the switch is on, you don't actually have to worry about turning it around or doing anything. You literally just have to. Touch it. And that is what we're looking at. Alrighty guys, so overall, what do you think I think about this? I think these are actually pretty nice damn good cases. Uh, they put me about, I think it was $69.99 a piece with $30 in shipping for two of them. I do like it besides the front. I get it. The front is designed for you to be able to um, easily build it, slide the front out, theoretically, and put the figures in, slide it back in. The only issue is if it slides down in one too much or the other, then you're basically dissembling portions of it anyway. So there should be something that could help this a little bit. Um, or just make it the same damn size because if I'm gonna put my figure in I'll just take the top off slide the figure down and it'll be just as easy than trying to finagle the front and side of it So it's definitely nice. They packaged it. Well totally worth it if you're looking for a Decent quality case and the fact that I know sideshow would be behind us instead of going on like eBay and buying cheap imported ones from a personal dealer that if you know something goes wrong and you're fighting tooth and nail to get something taken care of so I would definitely recommend it there are three I believe different ones there's this one the next tier up is actually more narrower but taller so I believe it can fit one fourth scales and then there's a brand new one um, and the brand new one is $79.99 like the uh, one fourth one is and it's a revolving one that allows you to actually like spin the case which is pretty unique and interesting I just don't really have space for that and the extra 10 bucks to me was honestly worth it I only have two figures at this time it's worth it if you have figures and you don't want to you know invest in building a wall with debt toff cases from Ikea or anything like that I would definitely recommend uh, checking these out um, and I'm curious let me know what you think any questions uh, shoot them my way um, but that's it guys I appreciate it uh, right now perfect time to subscribe if you like my stuff I uh, want to see when I'm gonna post more I am trying to do a couple videos a week um, I have started a couple streams on Mixer, so you can find me at Mixer.com slash Volsker. And Twitter, Twitter is where I put my daily shenanigans, and that is Twitter.com slash Volsker, or simply at Volsker. Um, and every Monday to Tuesday, you can also look uh, for some really hardcore nerd nerdgasm type shit on our House of D podcast with yours truly, D-Square, and J100. You can find that in the info below on Podbean or Apple Podcasts. Until next time, guys, peace, love, Walsker out.